Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of The Concept Guy and in this video we are going to talk about some really in interesting concept. So what I am going to talk about here is that if suppose, suppose we have, let's let this be a beaker and we have two immiscible liquids poured into it. Okay, we have two immiscible liquids poured into it. Let's say this is my first A, A liquid and this is my B liquid. Both are immiscible, that means this is one phase and this the second another phase. Okay, they do not mix. So now if I want to know about what pressure it will exert and how will it boil. Okay, so let me see that how it will boil. What is the boiling point? How it will change? So let's say we have two different beakers with A and B. These are immiscible and now they have, uh, they exert a pressure PA and PB, okay. When they are pure, then their vapor pressures at a particular temperature, okay, is PA and PB. So what will happen when we mix them? Both are immiscible as you can see, okay. So what will happen if we mix them? So this is PA and PB uh, that they exert when they are in the pure form. So what's the total pressure that the mixture will exert? Now let's see, let's say in this we have a man here who is A and there is another man here below him who is B. Now if this surface gets heated up, if this surface gets heated up, I know this is some kind of a strange example but this will help you to understand. So say A and B both are immiscible, okay, this man and this man, they are not a single person and one is standing over the other and this surface is getting heated, heated up. So now this man will actually push this man upwards and say to actually climb out of this speaker and A also because A is also feeling the heat from here, he will also try to move up. So A is trying to moving, move up with PA pressure and B is also forcing by PA, PB. B for the time being A comes out is still inside here. So A will have a greater amount of force to move out of this beaker. So total if this is an immiscible, if this is an immiscible liquid, immiscible mixture of actually liquid, then what we can say here is that we compare it with this then the pressure pressure the total pressure of the mixture pt total pressure would be equal to pa plus pb why so because now b wants exerts pressure and wants a to move out and hence the total pressure would be the sum of this now why i can really relate this mathematical formula with this example now see here both are immiscible so if if they had been miscible then we had applied the Raoult's law, okay, Raoult's law if they had been miscible and this law says that that the total pressure is the sum of the partial pressure. So what is partial pressure here actually? It is a mole fraction of A into the vapor pressure of P or PA and then XB and PB. So this quantity if you see this is for miscible and hence as mole fraction is less than 1 so this quantity is actually less than PA because it is only a fraction of PA and this quantity is a fraction of PB and hence the total pressure in the case of miscible so this is the case of miscible and this and this upper one for immiscible. So for immiscible the pressure the total pressure exerted is more because both are not mixed and want each other to get out fast. Here in this in this miscible case if we consider if in this miscible case we consider both are mixed okay then one molecule here will try to go out but now as it is mixed so the other molecule is now a competitor okay it will say no I will move and this say A and this say B both are mixed both are mixed so they will compete with each other but here B wants A to move first out because A is over him a is over him so total pressure would come generate here that will say a to move out but here both will actually 
say that no first i will move because they are in one single phase because they are miscible so this is my miscible case and hence hence the pt for this miscible case is less than pt for the immiscible case now what will happen to the boiling points so in the case of immiscible as the pt is more is a sum hence the temperature that the boiling point would decrease so the total temperature of the mixture will decrease as now the individual pressures are added and hence a higher value of this pressure is obtained the total pressure of the mixture of immiscible hence the boiling point will decrease what will happen for the case of miscible boiling point of a and boiling point of b okay their pressures are to somewhat extent in a fraction that's the mole fraction hence for this case for the miscible case the mixture boiling point okay the mixture boiling point would be in between of the a and b now it depends if a is more volatile or b is more water volatile let's say that a is more volatile means the boiling point of a is less and this would be in between this is for the case of miscible so overall we get to know that if it is immiscible b will say a to move first out and then b will move out so a net total pressure would be greater in the case of immiscible while for the miscible case as raoult's law is also applied the total pressure of the mixture of miscible liquids should be the mole fraction of a into partial uh, into the vapor pressure of a plus for that of b so this pressure is actually less than for the case of immiscible this is for immiscible while this case is for the miscible liquids and hence the boiling point variation we call because the pressure is more hence the boiling point would be less as a mixture total pressure for the immiscible case is more i hope you got to know it clearly as this example you can remember it that this is saying the b b man is saying the a man to move out and hence trying to first move out a with all its effort while here both are actually miscible so they will kind of compete please like share and subscribe